noticing this thing that I want to talk through with you. Have you noticed that female comedians are doing a much better job of covering the news than the news? There's this dumpster fire. It's not what the tweet said. The tweet said the electoral well, process. Well, that's the electoral no, process. No, it's not. Voting it's is not harder than that. Voting. No, it's not. Jeffrey, do you think if you don't think Versus this more direct approach. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless cunt. He listens to you. I get it. They need to take Trump seriously in order to be taken seriously themselves. But comedians don't have to even entertain Trump's BS. Bullshit alert. Bullshit alert. Because comedy has a much lower tolerance for BS. Did you know that Trump is on track to be the most joked about president in US history? He was the target of over a thousand jokes during his first 100 days in office. That's more than any recent president had during their entire first year. But I couldn't exactly figure out what it was about female comedians that was so engaging right now. So I reached out to the co-creator of The Daily Show, Liz Winstead, to find out. Women comedians, and also just comedians who are not traditional, what you think of as a late night talk show host. They're the ones who have things at stake. So they're writing better jokes with more depth because it's not just like, well, Trump's an idiot again. Let's see him talk about his tweets or how stupid he is or that he's orange. You watch black and brown comics. You watch women. You watch differently abled people talk about it. And it's like their jokes have a lot of layers and depth because it's real life. By the dawn's early light. What am I doing? Come on, come on. Oh, am I supposed to get on a knee? Uh-huh. Oh, and the national anthem? Yep. You got yeah, so for that. I what did you that. think I was doing? It brings the essence of why you should care about it mm -hmm. to the foreground. Mm -hmm. It picks the targets that you have control over amplifying their bullshit. But I think getting people emotionally invested through humor is humor's most valuable tool. Lately, I've developed a very rational fear of men based on how you portray yourselves in person. Um, Do you think that the proliferation of satire and satirical news shows will lead to misinformation? The question should be, why are we not holding our media accountable to give us the news in a way that satire doesn't have to be where we get our news? Like she burns facts and then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. What it says is the comedians are the ones giving us the most accurate news and we should all be aghast at that. The humorist as the neutral player can be super powerful if you're willing to make sure whenever hypocrisy happens, you're calling it out. So when your person whose values align with yours screw up, you can't conveniently leave off that. You know, you have to call people out on how you see it. I have a track record of using humor to talk about issues and getting people to sit up and take notice. I look at the hypocrisy of why they're doing it, um, I find the flaws, and then I poke holes in the arguments with humor. Female comedians aren't just helping us make sense of the news, they're also really funny. Everyone was smiling. Everyone was happy. The men all had erections. And every single one of the women was ovulating left and right. But what makes this administration different is that they can't take a joke. This is the first time in our country's history that an administration has so publicly attacked comedians. Clearly, female comedians are a threat, which isn't shocking when you consider that 86% of anti-Trump calls to Congress are made by women. Without these women holding our government accountable, I wouldn't know what to believe, and I'd probably tune out. Wait, women make 86% of calls to Congress? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yes, it is, but that's time, Elisa. And young, angry white dudes might totally have social media on lockdown, but it's women ages 46 and over who are doing like the actual work. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Do you though? 